Well, we don't have a scene like that, but at <laughs> least our temperatures may be yeah. going down, cooling off a little here. At least the temperatures are going to start cooling down, and at least the smoke is beginning to dissipate. That's good news. Now, we still have moderate levels of pollution out there, my friends, but the weather is going to allow, I think, the skies to gradually start clearing here in the days to come. So that is definitely good news. There's a live shot we have right now from the Air Quality Board camera, and as you can tell, we do have a few high thin cirrus clouds out there, but for the most part, we're starting to make out more and more of the mountains and the foothills off to the north. So air quality alert remains in effect up here from the northern part of the state. But I draw your attention to this. Look at that moisture that's working its way up from Utah. They actually had a nice little dousing of showers around parts of the Cache Valley and the Wasatch Front. And we also, for the first time in a long time, have seen at least some shower activity around the south central mountains of Idaho. Most of this is between Stanley and also Sun Valley. Now what I'm just hoping for is that we don't see any lightning associated with that. I did see a couple of little strikes, but it doesn't look like an overly active thunderstorm scenario. So temperatures, the high today, 94 degrees. That was above the average of 87 degrees for this time of the year. And outside right now, that is the high. It is the current temperature of 94. Nampa's at 91. Caldwell, 91. Mountain Home, you're 93. And McCall right now is, wow, it's 89 degrees. It's toasty up there, McCall. So here's that monsoon flow. It's a very, very brief appearance. Most of the rain has been affecting Utah, across Wyoming, into Colorado, down into Arizona. And as I promised you yesterday, we were just going to be seeing the dry wedge of air hanging around. Most of that moisture is going to continue to go around the perimeter of that high pressure. But this hot, dry air mass wants to stick around, and it's going to keep us toasty through Friday. Then on Saturday is when we begin to see a change as a trough of low pressure off the coastline of the Pacific Northwest gets a little bit closer to us. It'll help to suppress and push a lot of this hot, dry desert air away from the Treasure Valley. So here's a future cast through the day tomorrow. Maybe a couple of little spotty showers around the eastern part of the state. But there you can see the dry air. Now as I advance this, watch what happens with the cloud cover that's along the coastline. That's the leading edge of this trough of low pressure. As it starts drawing a little bit closer, we may see a few more high thin clouds here and there on Saturday. But this is the feature. It's really not going to generate much in the way of rain for us. But it at least, as it slides by to the north, will help to generate some cooler temperature readings. So seven day forecast for the Treasure Valley. Let's go with 95 for the high tomorrow. As I, as I mentioned before, I'm going to have to keep it toasty through Friday. But then on Saturday and Sunday, going into next week, we'll see temperatures ranging from the low to the mid 80s. So we could actually get cooler than normal next week because of a, pers of a persistent area of low pressure that's going to be hanging around the northwest. Really won't generate much in the way of rain for us, but maybe the mountains will see a couple of little showers here and there Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. But the weekend will definitely be cooler up in the mountains. And hopefully that nice trough of low pressure that settles in will increase humidity levels, give firefighters a step up on what they need to battle these blazes and uh, hopefully help to squelch the fires developing in and around the northwest. All in all, an improving looking yes, forecast. Yes, it is. It's, it's op I'm optimistic that things are looking less smoky. Yay. Yes. All right. Thank you.